Hello and welcome to another one of D's ADD videos. Today we're going to be looking at the concept of the plus or minus 0 0.2 or 0 0.1 depending on what you're dealing with in your classroom example and how you have to multiply by some whole number. Uh, so let's see how this works. Here we have an example in which we have the mineral magnetite that has iron oxide within it. So if we find 4.9 grams of uh, the sample that has iron and oxygen and 3.6 grams of that sample was iron, what is the empirical formula? All right, so steps. First step should be to try to calculate moles. So we can do that with iron. We have 3.6 grams of iron. And if we were to look that up on a periodic table, iron is right there. And its mass is 55.845. And then that's grams of iron, so that will cancel with grams of iron and one mole of iron. So if we were to do that on your calculator, let's see what we get here. We got 3.6 divided by 55.845, and that gives you... Zero point zero six four four six. Now, in order to figure out the moles of oxygen, we need to figure out the grams, right? Because we already have the mole of oxygen. And we know that there's 16 grams, 15.99, if you really want to be technical. Um, but we don't know how many grams. So what we need to do is go off to the side and do a little calculation. In this case, you should be able to do it in your head. But just in case you can't, uh, that's fine. Let's just show you what's going on. If you take the total sample minus the iron, then you're left with oxygen. So that 1.3 can come right there. I'll go ahead and cancel that, leaving you moles of oxygen. So if we did that on a calculator, you get 0 0.08. One, two, five. So then when you divide it, uh, the smallest one in this case will be this one here. Oops, sorry. We'll give you a one. So then when you do the other one, by that same value. Let's see if it's close enough. If it's within plus or minus 0.2, we'll let it stay. If not, we will not. So when you do that on the calculator, you get 0 0.08125 divided by 0 0.06446. And that gives you 1.2. 26, which is just barely outside both of those ranges. Okay, when I learned it, it was plus or minus 0.1. They've even allowed it to go to 0.2, but this is 0.26. That's too far off. So if I did that times 2, that would give me.
2.52. Oops, sorry, zooming out for no reason. And that doesn't work because we need to be within plus or minus 0.1 or 0.2 of the whole number. So let's try 1.26 times 3. And that gives you 3.78, which is not going to work either. Uh, so then we do 1.26 times 4, and we get 5.04. So because times 4 was a magic number that worked, we did times 4 here. And that gave me 5.04, which is within the allowable range of plus or minus 0.2 of a whole number. All the other numbers before 4 did not work. So because I did that 1 times 4, I have to do this 1 times 4. And now we know the empirical formula of this or. And it's going to be F E. Four, oh, five, and I, I made these numbers up so you might not see this occur in nature but just so you could get an idea uh, these minerals or these elements are found in the mineral magnetite that part's not made up but these numbers are so uh, the main point is if your number when you divide does not as this case did not fall within that plus or minus range, then you're going to have to multiply by a whole number until it does fall within that range. And then whatever whole number you multiply this one by, you multiply all the other subscripts by. All right? So practice, practice, practice. This is about as bad as it gets for uh, the empirical formula problems is this multiplication rule. So if you got that, then you're in good shape. Thank you and have a nice day.